Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video lecture, we would be studying about the Python demonstration on the NER that is named Entity Recognition and IOB labeling, which we have studied in our previous two lectures. So these are the two topics which we will be covering in our demonstration. So let's get started. I would be opening up my Jupyter Notebook. So this is my Jupyter Notebook that I have opened up through Anaconda. So first of all, we need to install a Spacey module, which is an open source library for NLP in Python. And it has some inbuilt capabilities. It is also known for processing and analyzing data in NLP. So let's install it first. It is pip install spacey. Since I have installed it, so I might not need it, but anyhow, I will still run it. So for me, it is requirement already satisfied for you it would be successfully downloaded or successfully installed now after installing the spacey module what we need to do is we need to import the spacey module so we would be importing that as well So we have finally imported Spacey. Now, when we go to the Spacey documentation, we could see that in the instructions, it's written that we how we can download the pipelines. So what are pipelines? These are uh, a pre-trained models that are built in, in this module and that could be used for our work or NLP task. So what we need to do is first we need to download these pre-trained pipelines and what is the command for this this is let's type it in here with exclamation so Till the time it is downloading let me show you that what we have to do after we have imported this particular module we need to load this pre-trained pipeline which is en underscore core underscore web dot sm with this our nlp would be loaded and we could use it for nlp task going back still waiting so now it is downloaded you could see the download and installation successful you can now load the package via spacey.load this so we would be loading this using nlp is equal to spacey dot load let's load it up now nlp is loaded now what we can do is we can use a variable let's say doc in which we would be using this nlp and we would be sending our input text for example i am a great indian singer full stop so this we would be loading in doc and we would be running it now we would be using ents which is entities so ner is named entities recognition so we have entities so we would be running ents so it will show all the entities that the particular statement or sentence has so not only sentence we could have a paragraph here as well and all the entities in that paragraph or in that sentence would be listed out with ents 
now what we will be doing is we would be listing this entities now this indian is an entity that is correct but what is the label or what is the tag defined with this we would be using a for loop for that in which we will write for ent in doc dot ents for all the entities we would be printing ent dot text so this text would be written out first after that we would be using ent dot label underscore in order to get the particular ner tag or ner label for that particular entity so this is indian is an entity and what what is an ner tag defined with indian that is norp if you remember from our last video indian would be an norp in iob labeling video i have told this particular thing that indian is a nationality hence it comes under norp tag So here is the output. The first word is Indian. There is only one entity in this sentence, which is Indian. And NORP is defined for that. That is a label or that is a NER tag for Indian. Now taking another example, let's say in our NER video, what was another sentence that we used? Manna bought one person share of Apple. We would be doing that using Python. Okay, let us see what happens now. What are the entities? So, Manna, one person Apple. We could see in the lecture video, Mana was a person, one percent was percent, Apple was organization. So let us see what are the labels. So label is Mana is work of an art. So it could not represent Mana as a person. And one percent is percent correct. Apple is org. That is also correct. Now manna instead of manna because manna is a word which also represents food food item so manna is a word which has different meanings so in some some word it means a heavenly food and obviously they have defined as work on work of art but it could not represent manna as person so let us try with manna core if it can So yes, now with my full first name and the last name, it is able to recognize Manna Kaur as a person. But with the single first name, it was getting confused and it marked it as a work of art, which was true. I am a work of art. So this is NER. And if you remember in NER lecture, I have also asked to identify all the entities in the following sentence. So this sentence I have write it down here. Let me copy it out and use it in our code. So let me click run. Invalid syntax. Okay, we have India's. Now listing all the entities, just India, Narendra Modi, COVID-19, New Delhi, December 22, 2022. Now clicking on run, India, it marked it as GPE, Narendra Modi as person, COVID-19 is also a person, great. New Delhi is GPE 
and December 22, comma, 2022 is a date. So this is how they have identified all the named entity recognition for all the entities present in this particular sentence. Now we are good with NER. Now coming to IOP labeling. Till here, we have seen this was NER tagging. Now we are going to IOB labeling. Now, if you remember, now going to the IOB labeling lecture here in what we were doing with the sentences that we have an, as an input, we were defining it as a beginning, intermediate or inside, and O represents outside. So everything that is not a tag is outside. And for all the tags, if it has one or the second words, then it would be beginning and corresponding words would be inside of that tag. So let us check for Manak or bought one person share on of an apple. Let us check for IOB labeling. Now before that, how we will check for IOB labels. So for IOB labels, all the words in a sentence would be checked. So we would be defining a for loop that runs through the length of the input text. So we would be using for loop for x in range. What should be the range? The length of the document. And then what we will be printing? We will be printing the doc with, with the position of that particular text. We would be printing that particular text. And then we would be printing the IUB labels to that using ENT underscore IOP underscore. And then we would be defining the type of that label using ENT underscore type underscore. So now let me run. So this is how it has marked all of the words in the sentence. So India is a beginning GPE. Apostrophe S, it has represented it outside. Prime Minister outside, Narendra Modi. B of a person that is beginning of a person then inside of a person likewise gpe new delhi beginning of a gpe intermediate or inside of a gpe for december 22 comma 2022 it is beginning date inside date inside date inside date so comma in between a date is also an inside of a that particular tag so that is inside of a date here. So you could see how we can define IOB labels. Let us check for another sentence which was a basic sentence for the percentage one. Let us check that. So now you could see that Manna Kaur is B and then inside of a person, bot is outside. One is the beginning of a person and percentage tag or the percentage symbol is an inside of a person. Then share of apple. Share of 
is an outside apple is the beginning of an organization since apple is the one word of an organization's name so it is only b and there is no inside of that tag and full stop is obviously an outside tag so this is how we can use ner tagging and i will be labeling using python spacey module and i hope that this video was helpful if it was then do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much